in here we have Pablo. Pablo is a large carpet python that came in to us after eating an unknown structure in somebody's backyard. So after some x-rays and some discussions with the finder, we discovered that he'd actually eaten some dog harnesses and dog leads. We spent a fair bit of time under anesthesia using an endoscope to search for this um, material that we knew was down in his stomach and had been there for at least a few days. The beauty of getting it out that way instead of going to surgery means he can be released quite soon after the procedure, whereas if he had a surgery, he would have to stay in for several weeks. We found it. Is that yellow thing part of it? Yeah, this is yeah. dog leg. All of this. Is that all bruising? No, that's the lead, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were able to um, massage it up and grab it with some specialised instruments. So it was about 80 centimetres in with the scope. If I can feed anything down the scope that will grab, I might be able to grab it. This is just bumps. What can you feel? So that's where the ends go, yeah. Are you sure that's the end of them? Yeah. Not yeah. So close. Yeah. I think you should use the long wrappers to try and get a piece down Yeah. Wait, there's more down here. Oh, hold up. We're not going to get the scope in, this is a bit of an issue. Still going to leave it out there. Is it coming easily? There's tension. Look at it! Um, we need the other pop stick just here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hang on, that's just... <gasps> Wait, there's more down here. Oh, hold up. <laughs> there's a bow. And then more lead. I have two, You've got two harnesses. harnesses. Oh, there's two? Yeah, I believe so. It's moving as you're... I'm going to say something more. Alright, let's just slow it for a second. Give it a massage down that end. He worked hard to get the stick. That's one, but then the other one attached. Oh, oh my god! Well done! Well done! Alright, let's put the snake on an Andy bag. We managed to get it all back out his mouth. And right here, I have the large um, dog leads, dog harnesses, and even a poo bag holder that was pulled out of him. So I'm sure Pablo's a lot more comfortable with these out of him now. Luckily, there were no dogs attached to the other end of it. And we've just been checking him each day, looking in his mouth. There's just a few abrasions in there from this going in and then having to come back out. So once we see those healing nicely, um, we'll be looking at releasing him within the next week or so. And he's even eaten for us, which is a great, great step in the right direction. Okay, we just did a nice quiet spot here. We're just releasing Pablo the carpet python who has been in the hospital for a few weeks after he ate a couple of dog leads and harnesses. So Renee and I are just letting him go today in a nice quiet spot. It's actually just around the corner from where he came from so he, he knows the area. Um, hopefully it's quiet enough though that he can, he'll stay away from dog harnesses and leads. He's also, um, he's also very dark at the moment because he's getting ready to shed his skin. So when we let him go, he'll probably just go and find somewhere nice and quiet to curl up until he's ready to, to shed his skin. See, he's quite dark, his eyes are even a little bit milky. 
Getting to release animals is easily the best part of our job, especially when they have such a cool story as Pablo. They're all different too. Sometimes they take off really slow, sometimes it's quite fast, like he did today. Cool to see him in the water as well. You can see, as you saw today, every snake can swim, no matter what kind it is. And he just took to that water straight away and just took off. So it's a really, really good day.